I'm Shannon Perry, and these are Conversations with Shannon. So what are these conversations about? Well, my dad's about to walk the Camino de Santiago. I was a journalist in high school, and I was taught that the who, what, where, when, and why are important to the story. Yes, Shannon, what you're going to do is use the who, what, when, and where, and why to help communicate what it is I'm doing and, and how it's all going to work, right? Right. Okay. So tell me a little bit about yourself and the people you're traveling with and a little bit about your story. Originally, I was going to do this on my own. That seemed like a good idea. I, when I communicated to all this my friend group that I was going to be doing the community of Santiago, one of the guys I went to university with, Kirby, immediately responded and said, I've been thinking about doing this for a long time myself. You know, how would I come along? Now, apparently... Kirby and I had had a conversation about this at our last reunion. But might tell you something about the level of imbibing that must go on in these, these reunions. I don't remember any of that, but in any event, I'm sure it happened. So now, me and Kirby are off on the road, and we're a couple of geologists, a couple of really old geologists, and that's why the tour is called the Trial by Tour to Fossils Walking. Let me tell you a bit more about the larger group that we represent. So at Queen's uh, in the 70s, and this is going to be the literally the 50th anniversary when we originally met. That group occupied a house in downtown Kingston, and we called ourselves, by virtue of the address, the 376 Screamers. Let me introduce who's in there. There's me and there's Kirby, and there's Makuzi, there's Moose, and there's Calvin. A little bit about these gentlemen. So Makuzi is the group mole. He really likes drills, really, really big drills like tunnel drills called TBMs. And he has bored his way through many a city in Canada. If you've been in any Canadian city, you've probably utilized one of Makuzi's burrowings. The next guy on the list will be Moose. Moose and Kirby met in high school. So they've been sort of the original members of this group, if you like. And uh, both those guys uh, had long careers in the oil patch out in, uh, in the energy industry out in, in Alberta. I can pretty much guarantee that if you've driven a car in Canada, you've probably had fuel that came from, you know, projects that those guys worked on. Let me tell you about Calvin. So Calvin has a unique ability to blow things up. He's a blasting uh, specialist, and he has some magical ability to blow things up such that the good stuff ends up on top and the bad stuff ends up on the bottom. Don't know how he does it. Seems like alchemy to me, but he's renowned for doing that. And so many, many metals from many, many mines that you use every day in your life probably came from some place where, where Calvin taught the people how to blow things up. So that's our, that's our general group. Um, let me talk a little bit about where we first met. So Kirby and I originally met as part of four, four of the group. All met up in Snow Lake, Manitoba, underground mining. Now, imagine this, Shannon. You're 19 years old. You go to this little town of a thousand people in northern Manitoba, and the first day in the job, they hand you a case of dynamite and some blasting gear and show you how to blast chutes while you're tramming for ore on the 780 level of the, uh, of the stall like mine. Pretty much a dream come true. So that's how we spent our summer. To this day, I was amazed to be A, didn't blow ourselves up, and B, we were allowed to do this. How's that for a summer job? So that's kind of our, our origins. They trusted you guys. They trusted us to go and do this. In fact, that mine was over 85% students in the summertime as, as people went on holiday. So we would actually get to use things like jack leg drills and, and put up you know fences underground and do all sorts of wonder, wondrous things that to this day I just don't understand them ever giving us that much responsibility. You, you are the reason we have safety regulations. We probably helped to establish <laughs> safety regulations in Canada. That's absolutely true. So that's, that's the group. Using a nickname for yourself, though? Can we uh, avoid this topic? N no. No, we can't avoid this Cause, topic. Because I'll get out of a Kirby if, if no, you don't. No, no, no. Um, we'll go there. So my nickname was Sperry Goof. Again, I have no idea where this came from. I suspect it was some ill-spent night at Muldoon's Tavern that derived this name, but that's what they've called me. Now, I personally think this is an effrontery, and, and everybody else had really good nicknames like Moose and Calvin and Kirby. So how was it that I got Sperry Goof? So I'm 
I'm promoting the idea today that we're going to change my nickname for the purposes of this trip. And since we always talk about you as ground control and me as Major Tom, I think my nickname going forward ought to be Major Tom. What say you? <laughs> I, I think that that's... How will people me. vote on it? Well, I, people go thumbs up on, on, I, I uh, really on the Facebook channel. I really think that that's channel. up to Kirby and the Screamers. No, no, no. no. Let's, just, let's, let's put it to a vote. So if I get enough thumbs up, we will forevermore refer to me as Major Tom. How's that? We could try that. Okay, well, we're going to try that. <laughs> Done deal. Done deal. Okay. I guess what I should really do, Shan, is just talk a little bit about my family because yeah. you guys are already important to this, and I wouldn't be doing this if you guys weren't supporting me. Let's start with uh, Annie, who I've been married to for 35 years. Annie is the uh, protector of all things feathered. She is the uh, most extraordinary nurse you will ever meet. My other daughter, Jennifer, is without doubt the most graceful canoeist I've ever seen. If you look at that picture, and you compare the the guy at the front who looks like he's you know shoveling coal, and and the person in the back who appears to be painting a Renaissance picture, <laughs> that's kind of what I mean. I mean she has an ability to canoe or other things like skiing that one of the most graceful humans I'll ever see. And of course, we have you, Shannon, the person who has called me in places in the world, almost everywhere I have been on a regular basis. Hence why we refer to you from time to time as Radar. All the blogs that are going to come out are going to come out really from you guys, putting together from, you know, raw footage I'm going to provide from the road, or me and Kirby are going to provide from the road. So that's how we're going to do it. I think that's a good chunk for the first, the first go-around here, Shan. I think if we uh, sort of wrap up that video, and, and uh, we'll go on to talk about other things like backpacks and shoes and... Uh, and the patches on my backpack, other things in other videos. So to everybody that's watching, thanks for watching and Buen Camino.